Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to give you the solutions for assignment 1 of IoT 4.0 and industrial IoT. So friends, it is somewhat related to the IoT course. So let's see the first question. In the context of static characteristics of a sensor, which of the following signifies resolution? Actually, all these statements are uh, true regarding static characteristics, but they have asked about uh, the resolution property. So, the answer for first question is option A. It provides the smallest change in the input that a sensor is capable of sensing. So, option A is the correct answer for first question. Friends, all these questions are 100% correct. Uh, if you feel any doubt, please ask in the comment section. So, I will try to reply to those queries. Moving on to second question, what is the general operating voltage range of commercial sensors which are available for circuit enthusiasts and hobbyists? So friends, uh, this is not the exact answer but the most probable answer is option A because when I have searched the Google, um, most of the uh, websites and articles have shown this uh, as approximately 3 to 5 but in the given range we have option A so I am telling it is most probable not exactly but it could be the answer option A because it is not given in uh, any lecture material or any video uh, regarding this so let's go with option A third question which of the following actuators produce linear displacement so we know that all the above all the above is the correct answer that is option D. Moving on to fourth question. IEEE 802.15.4 use which protocol for data transmission? So the answer is CSMA CA. That is option B is the correct answer for fourth question. And next question, the fifth one, which of the following is not an operating frequency of Zigbee? So the answer is option A, 950 kilohertz. Option A, remaining three are uh, frequencies of Zigbee, but not option A. So they have asked not an operating frequency. We should clearly see the question uh, because it may lead to uh, selecting wrong answers sometimes. Next question, option, sorry, uh, sixth question, what what is the role or what are the roles of adaptation layer in 6 lowpan so the answer is all the above above three are correct that is option d fourth option seventh question maximum payload allowed in wireless heart is dash bytes so the answer for seventh question is option b 127 bytes second option and eighth one, radio dead spots can be bypassed using a process called. So the answer for eighth question is option A, healing. Generally, healing is used to bypass radio dead spots. And next question, ninth one, in which application domain does ISA 100.11A is primarily used? So the answer for ninth question is option D. Automation in large scale complex industries. That is option, fourth option. And tenth question, which wireless communication technology is based on ad hoc PICO nets? The answer for tenth question is option C. That is Bluetooth. What does the abbreviation NFC stands for? The answer for uh, this is option C again, that is near field communication, third option. Twelfth question, which of the following work groups extend the integration of the IoT devices from network to service layer? So the answer for twelfth is option C, core, that is third option. Moving on to 13th question, quality of service QoS policies for IoT network includes. 
so it includes all of the above that means resource utilization data timelessness timeliness uh, data availability that is option d all of the above all all of the above option 4 fourth option so next question the 14th one which iot networking protocol supports caching uh, capabilities to improve the response time and reduce bandwidth consumption the answer for 14th question is option c coap that is third option coming to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one which iot networking protocol is used in the military so the answer for 15th question is option a dds rtps it is used in the military so friends these are the solutions for the 15 questions uh, given in iot 4.0 so if you feel the video is helpful for you uh, please subscribe our channel share this with your friends if you have any doubts please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section i will try to reply to those queries uh, for further weekly videos and other course answers please uh, refer the channel and subscribe the channel so until then it's goodbye thank you